What's up, everybody? Since update 7.2 came out for Squad, I've been sort of wondering what might be next for the game. And after doing a little digging, I have some theories, some possible leaks, and a little bit that OWI has actually talked about. So if you're new, hit the subscribe button, leave a like, drop a comment down below with what you would like to see added to Squad, and let's dive in. So first, let's consider what factions we might see added to Squad. From what I've heard from the community, the most desired faction might be to have a Germany faction added to the game. But I don't think that's the next faction. In fact, I think the most likely next faction is probably France. When 7.2 released, OWI posted a Google Sheet breaking down all the factions and unit types. And within that, someone on Reddit supposedly found some vehicle listings. First of all, it's listed as the FLA, which might be in reference to the French Land Army. A couple of vehicles listed here, being the GBC-180 and the VAB, are both vehicles tied to the French Army. Now, one of the questions included in the recent Q&A by OWI was, would you consider hiring a workshop mod developer to reach your achievements? To which they answered yes, and they are actually in contact with modding teams currently. And they say historically they haven't been opposed to working with modding teams, which is certainly true. Now, if we look back at the development of Squad, it wasn't too long ago that the Australian Defense Force was added. And that was actually a mod acquired by OWI from Midnight Interactive, which is now known as Zero Hour Interactive. And if we venture a little further into the Steam Workshop, we'll find the French Faction, which is actually a mod created by the Tactical Collective, who's also known for working on the Middle East Escalation mod. And OWI actually acquired some of their assets for the Turkish Land Forces. Now, if we go back to the French Faction, the Tactical Collective has provided an extensive document, an actually really impressive document that goes over a lot about the mod and what's included. And in that, on the first few pages, we see a couple of similarities to what we've already seen in a Reddit post, being the inclusion of the GBC vehicle and the VAB. But some of you may be bummed that we're not seeing a German faction added, but I think there's some hope because one of the other mods that the Tactical Collective is working on is the German Armed Forces. Now this mod is very much a work in progress, but much like the French faction, this looks pretty cool. Now, of course, I don't want to assume that OWI is trying to acquire either of these mods. I'm just taking a look at what's out there and what we could see at some point in the future. I'm going to post links down in the description below. So if you'd like to keep up with some of the development progress or support these modders, you can. Now, one thing I noticed while looking through some of these assets that they've included here publicly on their website and in their discords is that there does seem to be some map development tied to these factions. Which brings me to two points of future development. First of all, with the recent release of Sanction Islands, there's a bunch of new assets created for that biome, which to me suggests that OWI might be interested in using those assets again for future maps specific to the APAC region. But currently there's only one faction that originates from that area being the PLA. So is it possible we can not only see more maps from that region, but also a new faction? The first faction off the top of my head that could be added to this region might be Japan. Now, it does appear that a mod has been started already for the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force. It does seem to be very much a work in progress, but their YouTube channel actually posted a video not too long ago of a map based in Okinawa. And keep in mind that with update 7.2, the biomes that maps belong in also dictate what factions are available to that map. So it wouldn't surprise me to see additional factions added for this sort of biome and region of the world and squad. If you want to keep up with the squad modding community, you can always check out The Wrench, which is a blog post that OWI puts out on their website and on Steam. Now let's talk about a couple other things that might be coming to squad, including a vehicle leak. Now with 7.2, we got a gun skin and this image to promote the gun skin. If you look in the background of this image, you'll notice that there's a vehicle that currently doesn't exist within squad. Now, I'm certainly no vehicle expert or a weapon specialist, but looking at this image and doing a quick Google search, I found something that might be similar to what we're seeing here. This is the M1064 mortar carrier, which is operated by the US Army. However, there's very similar variations of the same type of vehicle that operate within other militaries. But just based off the image and in comparison to what I found on Google, this does look pretty similar. Could we have a mobile mortar carrier on the way to the US Army? Not to mention that this chassis is actually based off the M113 APC. And what I thought was interesting about this is that if it is based off that chassis, potentially we could see variations. Giving the US Army a tracked APC with similar functionality to the Canadians TLAV. And while the M113 is being replaced by the US Army, it still fits the time frame that squad typically operates within. But this vehicle has a ton of variations, and I think that's important because the U.S. Army has a little bit of a void in their lineup. While they have the Bradley IFV and the Striker IFV, they don't have a tracked APC, nor do they have some sort of armored logistics vehicle. And this becomes important when you start looking at the unit types in the map voting system that was implemented in 7.2, because currently the U.S. Army does not have any armored unit types for large layers, nor do they have a mechanized unit. 
And if you look at some of the factions that the U.S. Army might go against generally, they're all going to have some sort of armored or tracked logistics vehicle, or at minimum, some sort of tracked APC for infantry. Now, one additional clue to what might be happening in this image is down at the bottom left. This appears to be a portion of the Bradley armor. However, it's missing a couple things, including infantry backpacks and fuel tanks. So combining these two bits, I'm wondering if we're going to see not only a new vehicle, but a new U.S. Army unit type. Now, I thought I was done with this image, but there's one more thing we have to look at. Obviously, in the background, we're looking at the Russian ground forces. We see the BMP-2 in the background. But what's interesting is there's another vehicle that's partially hidden here a little bit in front of the BMP-2. And at first glance, I just thought this was a BTRD logistics vehicle. But if there's a BMP-2 in the background, we're looking at the Russian ground forces, not the Russian VDV. And the paint job on the BTRD is different than what we typically see with the VDV desert camo. In that the front panel is solid green instead of the camo pattern we typically see. So I'm wondering if the Russian ground forces are going to get access to the VDV's BTRD. Considering it's a multi-purpose vehicle, I'm sure this could fit in somewhere in some of the unit types that the Russian ground forces might operate. And speaking of OWI, while I was making this video, another leak got dropped. Some small images were leaked by OWI in the squad community discord. These images are confirmed to be teasing the M320 grenade launcher. At first glance, I started to think that we'd see a rework of the grenadier kit for the US Army or USMC. But after a quick search on Wikipedia, it seems that multiple countries that are currently in squad actually utilize this weaponry including Canada and the UK, not to mention Germany is currently listed on here. So there's multiple Blue 4 factions that could see this weaponry added to their kits, or maybe it ties back to the fact that I do think the US Army and maybe USMC are going to see some unit type updates. Especially because the Wikipedia actually points to one of the first divisions actually utilizing this weapon was the 1st Brigade Combat Team 82nd Airborne Division, which is the air assault unit type for the US Army. The M320 can be used in a couple of ways. It can be standalone or mounted to a rifle, including the M16, the M4, or the HK416. Now, the USMC technically operates the M27, which is a variation of the HK416. But what's interesting is in this leaked image here, you can see a QR code. And also on the USMC weaponry, there are QR codes. So I think that gives us some indication of where this weapon might be found and how it's going to be integrated into some of the units or possibly new units. And by the time you're watching this, you may already have some indication of what's being added. Now, as I mentioned, the recent OWI Q&A actually gives us some information about some upcoming things that they're working on, one of which is some changes to the commander system. This includes new assets, but also a rework of how it operates generally, which is kind of exciting because I think this is going to lean into making each faction unit a little bit different based on what they've said. So recently, someone posted a video from the SDK of Squad showing a bombing strike that was not currently used in the live game. There was a comment saying that this was already in the SDK and has been for a while, so maybe this is not something new, but could be cool to see in game. Some additional food for thought is that the French faction mod that we talked about earlier by the Tactical Collective also has a helicopter strike included as a commander asset, which looks like it could be effective against vehicles or maybe emplacements. This is in addition to the French having the option of a guided bomb strike, which actually targets similar to the one we saw on the Reddit post with a more specific landing spot for that bomb. Now, obviously, we don't know for certain if any of this is coming to squad, but I do like these options and it gives you a little bit more diversity in what's typically available. One thing I would love to see is some sort of commander ability that allows you to drop logistics supply on a fob. Now, if you look back to a roadmap from 2021, you'll see that there was a mention of a commander's resource point system. I think with any changes to the commander system, along with what they've mentioned in the Q&A, would require some rework of the role overall. Could we be in for something like an accumulation of points versus just utilizing timers? Could it depend on the overall success of the team and capping objectives that contribute to the commander being able to use airstrikes or any sort of asset? Now, looking back at the Q&A, OWI was asked about where on the pipeline the tow launcher rework is. Now, I'm not sure if this ties it all back to the commander assets and seeing different types of bomb types that could be dropped instead of just missile strikes. But could this mean that we're going to see more than just something like a grad be an option for different factions to utilize for indirect fire? It would be interesting to see a conventional faction squad with some sort of missile system, although that could be pretty OP. Now, something else OWI confirmed that they were working on is a better tutorial system, breaking down different elements of squad and making it a little bit more user friendly. Additionally, they talked a little bit about some sort of system put in place to give more information and feedback to players after rounds so they can understand where points are going and how you're gaining points. 
This may be underrated in terms of an update to squad, but it is significant because it's going to make squad a little bit more user friendly for new players, while also sort of advancing game knowledge across the board. Furthermore, OWI talked a little bit about some sort of socially driven progression system for players, which I assume is something similar to what they have in like Rainbow Six, for example, where you can commend players for performance. We've talked a lot about stuff that we've either seen posted by the community or by OWI. Here's a few other things that I think would be fun to see. First of all, I'd like to see a British Armed Forces revamp, especially considering the CTAS is no longer in rotation. Just a nice refresh would be good for this faction. I'd like to see some tweaks made to the Turkish land forces to give them a little bit better strength, especially when it comes to armor combat. Because right now they don't have a hat kit, they don't have any sort of IFE with an ATGM, and their vehicles seem rather weak. I would also be curious if OWI eventually plans to do some sort of vehicle combat overhaul, similar to ICO, but all about armor. I think there's some opportunities here for some polish and some tweaks made across vehicles in general, and potentially out of that could come a tutorial or guide to help new players understand vehicle combat better. Finally, I expect OWI to add unit types, to add more map layers, and hopefully some new maps. But the one thing overall that I know many people have talked about would just be some performance updates. I'm not sure if this is something that could be done by upgrading to Unreal 5, but just to see some overall performance enhancements would be wonderful. Now this video was a bunch of fun to make and it's all in good fun to theorize what might be next. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button, be sure to subscribe for more content and let me know down below what you are most excited to see added to squad and I'll catch you next time.